A well-motivated teacher makes sure her battery is always charged and never goes low during a session. Your energy levels talk a lot about your interest in what you're teaching. Concentration levels are extremely poor these days. Unfortunately, the students have very little concentration level when they're sitting in a class or attending a lecture. So if you reflect low levels of battery, trust me, all batteries in the class are going to conk off. And that's the last thing that we want. So self-motivation switch of you guys, of the teachers, trainers and facilitators has to be on and your motivation levels have to be visible to everyone present. Hello everyone once again, this is Asta Gill and I'm back with my next session on a Chalk That Talk series. By now I'm sure a lot of you are already get up, you're pulling up your socks to be a good trainer, a good teacher, a good facilitator and you are also ready to face the challenges that you might encounter during your sessions. I'm really happy that you're on it. Chalo, motivation ki baat kar rahe hai, let's talk about the visibility of motivation levels first. Visibility of motivation levels shows in the way you dress, yes. As a teacher, you must know that you have to be well dressed. Visibility of motivation levels shows in the way you dress. As a teacher, you must make sure that you're well dressed. Dress for success. Your dressing talks a lot about your interest in the task that you're doing. Okay, tell me something. Do you make sure that you're well dressed when you're out on a date? or when you have to attend a party or when you have to attend a get-together what about a wedding okay and uh, if you have to appear in an interview well if your answer is yes for all these questions it means that you are quite motivated you are excited about being to all such places if your answer is no then I'm kind of worried because then there's some serious issue. You know, you really need to pep up yourself. Okay, just kidding. So if you love dressing, you know, you are uh, you are someone who likes dressing up for special occasions, you're excited about the special occasions, then you must ensure that you are smartly dressed for every single session of yours. Every time you teach, each day, because every session is new. So your excitement to teach, your excitement levels to conduct that session should be visible and they should always remain at peak. Do you remember how we used to admire those teachers in school who used to be well groomed? And trust me, you will get all the more motivated when your students compliment you for your attire, for your grooming, when the class suddenly starts smelling good because of the perfume that you wear. Your grooming will set the tone of the class and it's going to make the session really, really positive. Believe me. So, trainers, teachers, facilitators and the upcoming TTFs, remember, self-motivation reflects in the way you present yourself in the class. And wait, a very important cheese. Pen, paper, notebook, in this you can forget something. If you forget something, you can forget something. One thing that you don't forget when you're entering your session. Can you guess what? Yes. Don't forget to wear your million dollar smile. Of course, that has to be there. It has to be on every time you're entering a session. And it has to remain throughout the session. So that brings us to point number two. Motivation dikhani hai. Or agar aapko apne students mein motivation dekhni hai then you must make sure that you are smiling because smile is highly contagious. It is even more contagious than the novel virus, but definitely in a positive way. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand that if you want to set the tone in a positive way for your session, then you must keep smiling. Students will be more than happy to have you or unki acceptance aapke liye bohat zaruri hai. Positive sessions become uh, very, very easy, very interactive 
and the students are able to take back a lot of stuff from what you're teaching them if the session is positive. So smile, make it positive and allow them to take back whatever you're delivering. Your motivation is also going to affect the way you teach and how you teach is basically about your delivery style. A trainer becomes a good trainer or a teacher if he or she knows how to deliver the lesson in a nice way. If you are happy and motivated, you will pour the lesson, pour the learnings for the students. But if you are not motivated and if you are not smiling, you will fake lessons on them and they will be able to do it. Okay, tell me something. Do you remember those days when the moment the teacher would turn towards the board, हम सबकी concentration हिल जाती थी and we would be onto some prank. एक दम से सब के सब कुछ ना कुछ करने लग जाते थे because मैम नहीं देख रही होती थी and we would be of course doing something notorious and especially जो backbenchers होते थे उनकी तो पूरी मस्ती शुरू हो जाती थी and you remember some students जो अपनी ही दुनिया में रहते थे they were lost most of the times कोई doodle कर रहा है कोई एरोप्लेन्स बना रहा है एंड सम ऑफ आस आल्सो यूज्ड टू राइट मैसेजेस एक दूसरे को सीट पे मैसेजेस पास करते रहते थे एंड यू नो ऑल ऑफ दिस यूज्ड टू हैपन व्हाई बिकॉज़ जो हमारी टीचर होती थी बस उनको बिना देखे अपना लेसन खत्म करना होता था तो उनका ध्यान हम में से किसी पे नहीं होता था नॉन पूरा टाइम मस्ती। So the moral of the story is that all of us teachers and trainers have to realize that we have to maintain an eye contact with the students in the class। सबको देखना है, जो lost हैं उनको भी देखना है, जो शैतानी कर रहे हैं उनको तो definitely देखना है और उनसे बात करनी है, उनके साथ interact करना है। Everybody in the class should be attentive if and you know that's going to be possible if all us, all of us, you know, as trainers and teachers realize the importance of eye contact. So maintain an eye contact with the students in the class and uh, they would definitely be able to concentrate and will be able to listen to us and also be able to interact with us if we are looking at them and delivering the lesson with a proper eye contact. Next on our cards is you have to make sure that you have done your homework. Yes, your homework. And by that, I mean, जो आपने उन्हें पढ़ाना है, उसकी आपने तैयारी करी है कि नहीं? आपको उसे पढ़के जाना है जो आपने पढ़ाना है. And you have to make sure that the content is interesting and it is something that is deliverable. Styles of teaching or training की जब बात आती है, तो what you need to remember is that what you teach is content and its quantity, okay? And that generally comes from the guidelines and the curriculum that has been assigned to you. But how you teach depends totally on you, okay? So it could be different, the way you deliver your lessons, your style could be different, your uh, way of presenting the content could be different. But you have to remember that it's interesting, it has to be creative, and at the same time, it also has to be acceptable by the class with open arms. So, I would suggest do some brainstorming, figure out what is the best way of keeping the class engaged, what is the best way of giving them the maximum take back points and uh, you also have to figure out certain ways of ensuring that those boring, repetitive, weird topics, so called weird topics are uh, made interesting for the class and uh, we will also discuss certain interesting ways of teaching in our next video. In my in-house sessions or on uh, when I do the online sessions, I generally discuss a lot of uh, life uh, and practical ways of handling the class. So what we do is we make lesson plans and the teachers actually show how they are going to present the lesson plans. Okay, so uh, they could be different ways. It could be uh, an activity based uh, way of teaching the class. It could be storytelling. It could also be role plays. So anything that comes to your mind, think of it, okay? And uh, see, basically the aim is that the students should be able to understand what you're teaching them, should be able to comprehend what is being taught in the class. And like I said earlier, they should be able to take back valuable learnings from the lesson. So friends, just a uh, gist of this video, show your motivation to the class while you are teaching 
by following these points. So let's do a quick recap. Dressing well is important so that they can remember you when they grow old. So dress well for the session, guys. Think of it. Your students will talk. Yeah, our teacher was so good at the dress up in the class. It was fun. It was poor. It was excitement level. क्लास में पोर होती थी और हम लोगों को भी सेशन अटेंड करने में बहुत मजा आता था। So dress well. Number two, keep smiling. It is contagious. And you know, think of your students talking about यार ये सब्जेक्ट तो बहुत बकाव है। But जब सर क्लास में आते हैं ना वो अपनी मिलियन डॉलर स्माइल देकर तो मन करता है कि एक बारी तो उनको सुनी लो कि वो क्या पढ़ा रहे हैं। So smile, guys. Number three, maintain an eye contact. You know, what is it? If you don't have eye contact, then where the look is gone, there is a mistake. So, make sure that you have an eye contact with everyone in the class. Number four, do your homework. That's very important because if the class is very attentive and they have asked some questions extra, it's going to get very, very embarrassing. So, make sure that you're well prepared with whatever you have to teach the class. And last but not the least, innovative होना बहुत जरूरी है। So innovate and practice new styles of teaching the same old stuff. Can you do that? Can you do that? Yes, of course you can. अब अगर सबको टिंडे तोरी खिलाने हैं, तो उसको हर बार नए तरीके से तो बनाना पड़ेगा। Let's have a wild imagination कि हम कैसे बना सकते हैं। What about baked tori in cheese pasta and roasted tindas? या उनकी टॉपिंग पिज़्ज़ा के ऊपर? I think ये कुछ ज़्यादा ही वाइल्ड इमेजिनेशन होगी। Now it's totally up to you guys कि आप कितना स्पाइस डालना चाहते हो अपने लेसन्स में and how you want your lessons to become very very interesting for your students. So think about something that can you know make it very very meaningful for your students. So while you invent new ways, I'll take a break here and I promise to come back with another exciting session for all of you. Till then. Take care and wishing more and more magic and more and more power to your chalk. This is Asta Gil signing off. For now, bye bye. Hey, before you go, like the video if you've liked it, share if you care, and if you want to stay in touch with me, don't forget to subscribe. All the very best, and for now, bye, fly, fly.